Forget gurus. Forget anyone claiming to be an online business expert without going through the challenges of entrepreneurship themselves. The Real Money, Real Business podcast is here to prove the best insights in online business comes from your fellow online business builders. We dig into stories of entrepreneurs selling their business on the Empire Flippers marketplace so that you can learn how they made their business profitable, how they overcame obstacles, and what lessons they learned in their online journey. If you want to take your business and your knowledge to the next level, you've come to the right podcast. Let's get started. Hey, everyone. Welcome to another episode of the Real Money, Real Business podcast. We record these interviews so potential buyers have more information about the seller and the business to help them make a buying decision. Before we dive in, let's go over a brief summary of the business. It's for an Amazon FBA business created in January of 2014 in the home niche. The average monthly revenue for the business is $35,456 and makes an average of $7,609 per month in net profit. The assets included in the sale are an Amazon Seller Central account with six SKUs, primary domain with all site content and files, four additional domains, supplier relationships, trademarks, an email list with about 1,200 subscribers, a legacy catalog, which includes graphics, photographs, emails, videos, and QR codes, and product inserts. And as a disclaimer, inventory is not normally included in the list price, but further details can be provided to active buyers. So for everyone listening, you can visit empireflippers.com slash marketplace and search for listing number 58978 to learn more about the business, or you can unlock this listing to start your due diligence if you're interested in purchasing this asset. So that's a brief overview of the business for sale. Let's hear from the seller with me today. So welcome to the show, Kevin. How are you doing today? Doing great, Nick. Thank you. Glad to be here. Yeah, I'm glad you're here as well. And I'm also looking forward to learning more about you and your business. So to get us started, can you tell us a little about your background in building and running online businesses? Yeah, I've just always loved the e-commerce business model, and I've been involved in selling on the internet since the late 1990s, including consulting services, information, even some books that I'd written at the time. And so I just recognized that in 2014, that Amazon was still in its early stages of growth. And I just saw that opportunity and the vision of that online marketplace and decided that I'd jump into the Amazon marketplace and did so at that time. That's awesome. So it's been 2014. It's been several years since you started this business. So why are you deciding to sell the business now instead of keeping it and growing it? Well, I must be honest and tell you the truth that I'm 66 years old and I'm a cancer patient. And it's just simply time for me to retire to focus on fighting for my good health and to spend more time with my children and grandchildren who are spread around the country. I'm sorry to hear that. And yes, I do hope that The sale goes well for you and you are able to focus on your health and your family. Thank you. Yeah, so definitely makes sense. So throughout your journey of building this business, can you tell us a little bit about something that just seemed to work from building this business that contributed to your success? You know, what I've learned that works so successfully about building this business is to just simply stay focused on or that I stayed focused on our core brand ecosystem of products that customers have just come to love. We have a wide array of customers like universities, hospitals, film studios, businesses of all kinds, and just everyday people who come back and purchase from us again and again because they know they'll get the same consistent quality, value, and customer service that they've come to love about our brand and products. Nice. And I'm sure that through your journey of trying different things, there might have been something that wasn't a home run. Was there anything you tried with this business that didn't work out so well? Well, at one time in our journey, there was kind of an emphasis or belief that driving off Amazon traffic would be seen as more value to Amazon and helping sales and organic growth. But when we experimented with that, it didn't really work too well for us. And we didn't get the kind of ROI that we wanted or expected. And so we just continued to stay focused on attracting our own customers within the Amazon PPC traffic and the platform and customers and prospects who are already there with credit card in hand and intention to buy. Got it. So Amazon preferred that you stayed on their platform. (laughs) Makes sense. Okay. So currently, I mean, this business is now in a more mature phase So can you describe the amount and the type of work that you do on this business for maintenance? Most certainly. 
I usually spend about five hours a week on the business. I watch it every day, however, just to keep on top of things. But it just doesn't require a lot of work because our processes and systems and support personnel are so well established. But what I do is I monitor sales in units, dollars, conversion rates, ratings, and rankings in a spreadsheet for each of the six SKUs that get updated daily by my virtual assistant. So I just keep on top of that. And then occasionally handle the customer service question or issue, as well as monitoring inventory levels in our Amazon Seller Central account as needed. I will request products to be shipped from our 3PL warehouse to replenish inventory. And then I also create purchase orders about every quarter with our two manufacturers. And then I contact my freight forwarder and they handle all of the shipping from point of origin right into our 3PL warehouse. Got it. So a lot of operations focused work, which includes inventory management and customer support. Okay. And let's talk a little bit about traffic. So what do you currently do in terms of marketing? I know you mentioned that you tried external advertising, but that didn't work out so well. Do you do anything else in terms of marketing? Well, we really stay focused on Amazon PPC advertising and have been quite successful with that. We also have a an email list and we do occasional email blasts to our customers to promote sales around different holidays or with a special deal or coupon from time to time or when we want to launch a new product to help gain early traction in our market segment. But we also recently engaged a new service provider that has a connection to Amazon to leverage us to obtain a one of those very valuable editorial review spots on the top of page one for our core products. Nice. But they were also able to help us get reviewed and published in offline magazine articles that rate us and review us. And then from that, prospects can click right from there and it drives them to our Amazon product listing page where we make sales and profits. It's still early in that in our engagement with them, but the results are very promising. Nice. So you say it's still early in your engagement with them, which sounds like there's some opportunity to discuss. So that leads me to the next question. If you were to keep the business, what are some ways you would try to grow it? Well, the first thing is I just simply stay on the track that's already working very successfully. We grew year over year by more than 100% last year. So just sticking with the knitting as the old saying goes and continue to execute the systems and processes that are already in place. But in terms of major growth opportunities, wow, there's great opportunities for this brand to employ other distribution channels like Shopify and Walmart, eBay, and even wholesale distribution. But another great growth opportunity is to launch our core products into the other Amazon country markets that I just haven't had the time to pursue. Sure. But probably one of the best opportunities would be to simply launch other key complementary products into the Amazon marketplace based on the foundation of our already well-established and successful brand. Nice. Certainly sounds like a lot of opportunity. So of course, with opportunity though, there is always some form of risk. So what do you think are the biggest risks associated with this business that a buyer should be aware of? Good question. Simply keep your eye on the ball. This business is a well-oiled, streamlined business with systems and processes and support personnel, as I've mentioned that are already in replace. It just requires you to monitor the business that's already there and established. But if you were to see an anomaly in sales or conversion rates, then you'd need to make corrections as necessary. And then also to be alert and on top of Amazon. Anyone that's familiar with selling on Amazon, you know, every once in a while you can get a a crazy Amazon algorithm glitch that might impact a product page. And you just simply need to keep your eye on the business so that if it happens, you can catch it and get it corrected quickly. Got it. So pretty much what every Amazon seller should be doing for their Amazon business. (laughs) Got it. Yes, sir. Okay. So some final housekeeping questions. How much support are you willing to offer a new buyer? Well, the typical support for email and calls or Skype or whatever is necessary to be able to help make a smooth transition for the new buyer. Great. And would you commit to a non-compete? Yes, absolutely. Awesome. And are you open to something like an earnout? You know, not in this case. It's time for me to retire and turn the page onto a new chapter in my life and focus on my family and my health. Yep, absolutely. And last two questions then. Putting yourself in the shoes of a buyer, why do you think this is a business worth buying? 
just simply because it's so well established and already successful. And in fact, we've been selling the same core products that we launched in 2014. So we've established our competitive place in the Amazon marketplace in our niche. And it's had this past year had over 100% year over year growth. And in fact, January 2022 has been the most successful month ever. So it's a growing successful business and it's prime opportunity for somebody to step right into a great opportunity. Wow, that's awesome. 100% year over year growth. Well, that's great to hear. Is there anything you'd like to add that you think I might have missed during the interview? No, great questions. And hopefully those were helpful answers. Yeah, absolutely. I think they were. Okay. Well, I think this is the perfect place to wrap this up. So Kevin, thank you so much for sharing your story and joining us on today's episode. And yeah, I hope your business is purchased in the near future and by the right buyer. Thank you, Nick. Great to be with you. Absolutely. All right, everyone. Thanks for listening. To learn more and see if this listing has already been sold, head over to empireflippers.com slash marketplace and search for listing number 58978. And if you're watching this on YouTube, click the link in the description to go straight to the listing. And once you've unlocked this listing, you'll be given everything you need to know about this business. So until next time, enjoy your digital journey.